My pleasure to introduce our panelist for today's broadcast, Nick Hart, Director of Indirect Tax for Radius. Nick leads the indirect tax practice on the Radius Advisory Team and advises clients across all industries and countries, providing insights and support on international VAT matters for firms entering and operating in foreign markets. Over to you, Nick. Thanks very much, Ed, for that introduction. And hello, everyone. Welcome to the webinar. Thank you very much for joining. Um, so just a brief rundown of the agenda, um, what we're going to be talking about today, imports and exports, um, with, a, with a slant to indirect tax, to VAT, GST, etc. Um, so just going to give you um, an introduction to, to some of the key concepts, um, and then some overview of, the, of what imports and exports is all about. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about administration. Um, obviously, there's a, there's, a, there's a lot of country-specific details that we could go into, but um, for, the, for the hour we've got, um, some of the information is, is relatively high level, just to give you a flavor of, of what this topic entails. Um, we're going to link it to uh, imports and exports to, to the indirect tax um, um, systems of VAT and GST, as I've mentioned, um, and then always good to, to go through some, some opportunities um, in, this, in this area. Um, for you to and to be aware of and to look out for and to, and to explore further some typical scenarios that, that um, may ring true with um, with the audience today um, you may empathize with um, and typical for, for us that we, we see a lot for our clients the, the scenarios that they're encountering um, some common pitfalls so so where things don't go so well what are the what are the implications and therefore if you're aware of the implications you can plan to avoid those those pitfalls in advance um, a little bit about supply chain, supply chain structure and how that um, in, involves imports and exports and indirect taxes. Uh, and then finally, um, how Radius can help you um, on the advisory and compliance side in, in this area. Okay, next please. Okay, so as I said, we'll start off with some, uh, an introduction to the, to the main concepts, imports and exports. So in the context of, of this webinar, um, imports, um, it defined a tangible good um, brought into a jurisdiction, um, particularly and especially across a national border from an external source location. So we're talking about physical products. We're talking about boxes, containers, goods, um, so something tangible. Um, so services is not so much covered um, in, this, in this broadcast import and export of services. So we're really concentrating on goods. Um, exports, obviously, is the opposite. Um, term export means shipping goods out of the port of a country. Um, then generally speaking, where you've got one, you'll have another. Um, um, just a note there, just a, a sort of paragraph there to, um, to say the, the movement of commercial quantities of, of product normally requires the involvement of, of customs authorities, um, both at the port of export and the port of import. Um, so each country um, you know, internationally has as customs authorities to control the movement of goods in and out of that, that particular country. Um, the advent of, of e-retail and e-commerce um, in the international marketplace has, has seen a, uh, an increase in the movement of low-value items um, being, being sold um, cross-border, um, and to a certain extent, um, they miss uh, and bypass the, the, some of the customs administration requirements that larger shipments um, have to go through. However, um, just a point to note that um, there's some still legal restrictions on those movements of goods um, across the retail space and, and, and indirect taxes still and, and may apply um, in respect to those, those transactions. Um, and the final comment there, in order to prepare for meeting administrative and fiscal requirements, planning, planning and careful application of processes is vital. And this is something we'll we kind of stress throughout the broadcast really that um, you need to be on top of um, what is required to import export, what are the implications from an indirect tax, and as I say, what, what can go wrong, what are some of the opportunities to, so you can get into that, in, into the mindset of planning um, in advance and, and to avoid those, those issues occurring. 